Welcome to Lee County, Florida, city of Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach, Sanibel, and Captiva Island. Beaches, paradise. Paradise includes 108 golf courses, many nestled within housing developments. The area is a premier retirement destination to many full-time residents and seasonal guests. We are receiving third-party calls from the clubhouse attempting to report an emergency somewhere on the golf course. These amenities, each spanning hundreds of acres, often utilize a single clubhouse address, which made it difficult to locate the patient. In a day and age where everyone has access to a cell phone, we sought to develop a system that streamlined information flow regarding exact patient location and best access by emergency response agencies. Utilizing a single numeric address in an attempt to locate a patient somewhere on the golf course seemed counterproductive and futile. It's quiet, peaceful, a relaxing round of golf until that critical moment when an emergency occurs. Medical emergencies, trauma events, and even vehicle crashes occur on golf courses. What would you do if you had an emergency out here? Standing here, it may be hard to pinpoint exactly where you are and to determine best access for emergency responders. House numbers and street addresses are not visible from the course but what is known is the course name, hole number, and if the player is nearest to the tee box, fairway, or green. By utilizing GIS and CAD capabilities, we can guide responders directly to a street address point that corresponds to these locations and provide for efficient and timely patient contact. Playing golf, and we're um, we're at Eagle Ridge Golf Course. We're at Eagle Ridge. Eagle Ridge Golf Course. Do you know what yes. hole number you're at? Um, let's see. We're, we uh, hole number ten. Hole, hole number 10. ten. Okay, and is that the fairway, the tee box, or the green? Uh, let's see. We're, we're out on the fairway. We're out on the fairway. Okay, I know exactly where you are. Just stay on the phone with me. What's the phone okay. number you're calling from? Um, um uh, let's see. I'm on my cell phone. It's uh, two three nine. Uh, five 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 one two one two. Okay, and tell me exactly what happened. Um, let's see. He could, he was swinging the golf club, and all of a sudden he had severe chest pain. I think he's having a heart attack. Okay, we're gonna get him some help. Just stay on the phone with me. Are you with him right now? Yeah, I'm here with him. Okay. Honey, How old honey, is he? You okay? Um, I'm sorry. What? How old is he? Um, he's 63. Is he awake? Uh, yeah, he's he's awake. Is he's he awake. breathing? Um, yeah, he's breathing. Okay, and is he completely alert? Um, yes, yes, he is. Is Honey. he breathing normally? Um, no, no, he, he's not. He's having trouble breathing. Okay. Honey, does he have difficulty speaking between breaths? Um, yeah, yeah, it seems like it. He does. He's really having a real hard time talking. Okay, just stay on the phone with me. My partners are sending the paramedics. We know exactly where you are. You're, they're coming to Eagle Ridge Golf Course. Hole number 10 at the fairway, yeah, and yeah. it looks like they're going to come to 7627 Eaglet Court, and they'll come right between the houses to get to you, okay? Okay, you okay. Stay on the line. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do next. Okay, thank you. My name is Rob Lovell and I work for Lee County GIS. In 2013, Communications approached GIS with a golf course project that at first seemed overwhelming with what they wanted to accomplish. But after jumping in with both feet, it proved to be not so difficult. In total, 20 weeks were spent and over 800 hours gathering data for the GIS portion of the project. With the collaboration of EMS, Fire, Communications, and GIS working together, we proved that with a little hard work, a lot could be done in a relatively short amount of time. In the GIS inventory, we had GPS coordinates for the tees and the greens, but no other information. We added the fairway point to get our three access points per golf hole, tee, fairway, green. Attributes were then assigned to these points, most importantly, which golf club and the hole number. 8,000 total points had to be assigned. After creating all of this data and assigning the relevant information, it was time to verify each critical address as suitable. PDF maps were created for each of the 109 golf courses. Each fire district hit the ground running with the golf course maps 
and begin the process of verifying suitable access for public safety crews to the golf course. Once completed, the information was downloaded into the communications CAD system, allowing for a call taker to enter the location of the emergency that provided best access to the patient. I really feel fortunate to be a part of this project. As an avid golfer, this will save lives by getting the resources to the patient in the shortest amount of time with the least amount of confusion. Address verification becomes very simple. The XY coordinates should line up on the map and the CAD matrix verifies the closest street address access point. The matrix is a simple alphabetical listing of golf courses and all the holes with tees, fairways, and greens. Before the commonplace matrix was finalized, each access point was physically checked by a paramedic or firefighter. We used light duty staff to accomplish this. By having the street address corresponding to the golf course hole location, first responders are routed by AVL mapping to the exact street address location of the patient. CAD call comments indicated the patient is on the golf course behind the house. Incidents such as this are not uncommon in Lee County or anywhere else with similar designs and complex access points. Providing first responders with clear information regarding the location of the patient and providing a clear choice of closest unit and the driving directions is a valuable, life-saving tool. Being able to talk directly with the patient or bystander and able to provide critical pre-arrival instructions is far superior than receiving a third-person report from a clubhouse. We have taken the guesswork out of the dispatch and notification process for over 100 locations countywide. This project has been a collaborative effort, GIS and CAD employees, dispatch, Lee County EMS, and numerous fire districts, as well as our public information officer. But most importantly, it's been a collaborative effort with golf course management and ownership.